Paul Glattner is still with us. Joining us right now is Steve Oka for the MD Kofana Securities. He joins us virtually. Hello, Steve. Good to have you join us today. Good morning, Professor. It's nice to talk with you guys again today. Well, you can say that again. Very quickly, let's start with the first story. The story about OPEC returning the court level. Talk to us about this. Yeah, you need to understand um, the situation playing out in the developed countries right now. The rate of inflation definitely caused by, partly by the Ukraine uh, Russian war, the challenges they are facing. And the last thing they will want right now is um, um, an increase in the cost of energy. You understand? So, you can understand why the U.S. would be more interested in OPEC pumping more oil, whereas we here in Nigeria would be interested in the cost in oil production so that it will show up the price of food in the international market. Okay? Um, at above uh, $100 per barrel before now, right now, I think it's going, Red food is going for about $55 per barrel, which, of course, is not particularly too good for us. We want to see price going above $100 so that we will be able to finance a lot of things in Nigeria, show up the, the value of the naira to, to the dollar. Like, uh, we, are, that, we are not going to, okay. are not going to do that in isolation, you understand? So that's the reason why U.S. is pushing for more production. Why OPEC? So I think to reach a balance, OPEC decided not to, not to reduce, reduce uh, production, not to put more OPEC to retain the same level where they but if I get you correctly now, you, you're saying that Nigeria stands to benefit from um, OPEC's recent stance. Is that what you're saying? Well, Nigeria stands to benefit if there is a cost in production. Okay. If, there is a cost in pro if there is a cost in production, it will lead definitely to a higher price in crude oil. You understand? That well, but let's, let's look at the global economy now because it, it would seem this is what U.S. is interested in. U.S. is saying, uh, looking at the global economy, we need to yeah. pump more so that the price will reduce. Because when we look at, you know, all, 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 when we look at the global economic headwinds, the people will tell you surging oil costs or surging energy costs and all of that. Yeah. And I guess this is what U.S. is trying, you know, to prevail on the OPEC Plus to work on. But it, it, wh why do you think, uh, wh when you look at it, you know, how many countries or how many economies stand to actually benefit from OPEC plus um, current stance? Like I said, especially the whole of Europe and America, you understand that even Asia will benefit from OPEC current stance. Because definitely, um, um, uh, good oil price remaining uh, low or at the same price where it is right now benefit the developed countries. But like I'm saying, <laughs> well, we are looking at our own, uh, we are looking at here, here in Nigeria, will it benefit us? You understand? It's not the uh, we, we don't have, uh, but but you know, we, we can't continue to rely on, you know, surging oil prices to cushion our economy. In the absence of yeah. that, what should we put in place? How should we, you know, address our internal issues so that we won't keep relying and depending and hoping and praying no, that no, OPEC no, Plus no, will no, keep no, cutting? No, 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 Okay, I think we should move on to the second one now. The second question about telco subscribers hitting 214.35 million. And from this report, this is as a result of persons who are dropping their initial SIMs to get new SIMs so they can, you know, have the name linkage with their SIM. At, to, with their SIMs, beg your pardon. Talk to us about the impact of this generally. Yeah, what it means, what generally means, yeah, by way of absolute numbers, 
we have more subscribers in Nigeria, but then in terms of uh, effective usage, because if people are dropping their old lines to enable them uh, and, and acquiring new lines so that because of the new linkage, I think you need the old line, okay, then definitely they have not thrown it aside. And also, don't forget, I'm also, I'm also looking at the other angle of um, the fact that most of those li old lines were going in the wrong hands. I don't like that uh, possibly uh, people in the shady business are always uh, using your understand. So I think I think the, the network provider needs to do a little more. You understand? It's not just carrying the numbers that is important. What is important is the effective usage and then be able to possibly track those post lines to see whether um, these are lines that are actually being used by people who are in, 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 in one form of uh, illegal business or the other. That's the all right, Let, let's go to tech now. Uh, there are reports that we have about 40 million tech, ta 40 billion uh, dollar tech talent market. How can Nigeria, you know, position itself to partake up to participate in this particular uh, opening? We have, we have a pool of um, talented young guys, you understand. We, the human capital in Nigeria is, is, is mind blowing. There's no doubt about that. You are looking at it's not just enough for government to, to reel out figures. What is the government doing to encourage um, young ones, to encourage people that are in the tech business? What are they doing to encourage them to improve on what they have? You understand? Look at our investing. You know, actually have been on strike for, for how long? Now they are even threatening to, 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 to down tools again because of the, 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 the payment of half salaries. It's not just enough for, for, for the government to say, oh, we can pass into this. They should do more and say, look, encourage people that are into this business. Start uh, holidays, one way or the other, you understand? Eh? Give incentives that encourage those young boys that are trying, young boys and girls that are trying to go into this business to improve themselves. Many fully aware that they come through with the data for it. This is, if we can act and get as much as this by way of foreign exchange earnings, you know what it can do to Nigeria. Absolutely. Finally, let's look at Serap now taking uh, the federal government to court over ecological funds. Uh, let's have a thought on that story. Yes, we saw, we saw what happened a few months back. It's not just um, um, it's not just in terms of hiking food, food prices because of flooding. Um, it affected uh, movement. Transportation was grinded between states to states in certain parts of the country. <laughs> because of the fact that Money allocated for this, for Nigeria to fight such natural disasters, a few individuals honored it and made it their own personal, personal, uh, put it into their personal pocket. It's not, um, uh, it's not out of place, it's not tied to do this. They can they achieve anything with it, can they get any, any kind of judgment on this? So it, it is time for all, all of us to, to eat, you know, uh, add our own voice to it. Government cannot continue this way. You understand? Money that is allocated for a particular purpose is being diverted. And at the end of the day, the masses are also for it. Okay. All right, thank you, Steve Okafa, for sharing your thoughts with us on the show today. We've been speaking with Steve Oka for the MD Kufana Securities. We'll take a break now. When we come back, we'll bring you the stock market report. Stay with us. <laughs>